This is Charlie Kao with Travel Mall. Uh, I'm in Barcelona at the Airline Travel Payment Summit with Mr. Alvaro Diaz, who's with uh, Fetsco. Good to see you. Thank you very much for having me around. Yeah, good to see you as well. Uh, I'll let you recap Fetsco, which is a company I've known since the early 80s. It's a uh, pretty amazing uh, what it's done over that period and is still doing today. Absolutely. So you, you met them from the very beginning. So we are basically an Irish company. With, uh, was, it was established in 1981. And as you say, it's uh, an Irish company based in Kilorglin in the west coast of Ireland. And uh, from there, we now have uh, around 2,000 people working worldwide, providing services to over 28 countries, or around 28 countries. And um, yeah, focusing on the financial services to, to our merchants and uh, acquirers partners uh, with uh, different products. Uh, and, uh, we can get into, into Before products. we get into that, uh, my memory uh, has Fetsco. Uh, involved with the Irish Tourist Board, uh, with their the Ireland destination computer system, uh, duty-free, tax, tax rebate, free. and boom, now payments and such. Um, what, what is the focus now? Yeah, I, I think that you, you recap everything that we have been doing in the last few years. I think that right now, especially for the travel industry, our uh, main product would be dynamic currency conversion, which basically uh, allows the final customer to pay in the currency of the, of the credit card or the one that the uh, merchant is offering as a base currency, if those are different. So if we take the example of this hotel here in Barcelona, uh, the base currency of this hotel is Euro, obviously, but if uh, a customer comes, for example, from the US with a credit card in US dollar, when they go to the day checkout, uh, the, the person at reception will ask them whether they want to pay in US dollar or in Euro. So uh, basically this is uh, great news for the customer because uh, they will have all the information they need in order to take a, a, a right decision. They will know what is the exchange rate we are going to offer, where does it come from, what is the margin that is applied on top of it, mm -hmm. and they actually know that what they see there in the statement, if, uh, sorry, in the, in the receipt, is what is going to be taken out of their credit card. So um, it gives them the choice, uh, the confidence in, in doing the shopping in the currency that they know very well, uh, and that's uh, definitely what is bringing us uh, a lot of revenues at the moment and uh, we have a lot of customers, very successful customers with this product. Actually, we were the ones uh, inventing and creating the product uh, back in 1996. Oh, wow. The, the, first, uh, the first transaction was uh, processed. And since then, we have now around 100,000 uh, merchant terminals. So uh, yeah, the growth has been exponential. And again, as I say, it's, it's, it's a product that we offer worldwide. Let me go back. Okay, so the customer is offered to pay this hotel in euro or dollars, right? Typically, I would go and I've been offered that, you know, I take my U.S. credit card, next thing I know, or U.K. credit card, next thing I know when I receive my bill, um, if I decided to pay in Euro, mm -hmm. I would have an exchange rate amount on my credit card mm -hmm. and a service fee. Correct. Okay. What does you, your offering in these 100,000 merchant locations, what does that eliminate? Anything? Well, that's, that's actually the beauty of dynamic currency conversion. Basically what it does is it replaces, that's exactly that, what you have said, that exchange rate and that commission applied by the issuer of the schemes, that's replaced by the, by the uh, uh, exchange rate that we agree with the customer and the markup that we agree with the, with the merchant, right? So uh, it's actually not an extra fee for your final customer, it's purely replacing what the customer has out there. How, how will that compare customer. with that line item on my credit card that's just the, ex the exchanged amount? Forget about the bank fees for the foreign currency will be fairly similar? Absolutely. I mean, the exchange rate will be very, very similar. We actually use a very flat rate mm -hmm. without pre-margins or anything like that. Uh, so that's, uh, that's going to be probably very similar to what you will be offered on the... On the and then, the so then the, that extra fee I'm charged by the bank or credit card company, that's what's being eliminated? Correct. 
and confusion, a little confusion, trying to uh, reconcile my credit card. That's basically uh, replacing that uh, extra margin that is applied by, uh, by these providers is replaced by the one that we agree with the merchant. And we always recommend the merchant to go for something uh, uh, pretty low in order to have exactly a replacement of what the customer would have without dynamic currency conversion. So we don't want to penalize the customer, we just want to offer them an extra service and more confidence on the shopping that they are doing abroad. If I understand you correctly, you go to the customer, the merchant, mm -hmm. your customer, and say, we have this, okay, so we can do this. Mm -hmm. But you can dictate what markup you want. Correct. Absolutely. And That's you're recommending, hey, cool it on the markup. Exactly. We usually recommend to go always between 3 and 4%, uh, not higher. Than because that. That's what's That's been going exactly. on for decades and decades and decades. And, and that will be like what the customer would pay without the dynamic currency conversion. In the example that you mentioned before, or here at the hotel, if you were to pay with your, your US dollar credit card in Euro, more or less that will be the markup that you will be paid into your bank or, or, or credit card issue. There's also the good news that I'm hearing for your clients that they have a revenue source Absolutely. Now. So out of that markup, uh, they will receive a commission. So they are not only having uh, happy customers, they are also having extra revenues. So it's, uh, it's, again, it's... it's and, and, and since you launched DCC, mm -hmm. let's go, one of the first, you have 100,000 clients on it. Yeah, let's say terminals out of... Uh, Is it at the momentum phase in terms of clients signing up uh -huh. to your services or is it still has a ways to go? Oh, definitely a way to go. I mean, we are growing on the markets that we are operating uh, and that's one of the options we have to grow. Obviously, we are also extending the number of, uh, of verticals that we serve. Uh, we are very focused on travel industry, airline, hotel, car, but we also have like education, we have uh, uh, duty free, uh, we have uh, many other uh, verticals that are already uh, retail, for example, is huge. Uh, and, uh, and they have DCC and uh, they are enjoying and we are growing the number of customers out there. And maybe maybe the, the important thing right now is that it's not only dynamic currency conversion, we have another product that helps, especially for the online sales, which is multi-currency pricing. And multi-currency pricing um, allows the merchant to create prices in different currencies. So they have their standard base currency, but they can also have uh, other uh, currencies behind. So customer goes to the home page, there is a drop down menu, they select the currency, and the, uh, the, the customer will be able to do the shopping on that specific currency they do very well. So the whole shopping experience will be done on that specific currency, while the merchant still receives the settlement on the base currency of their choice, or, or the base currencies they sell. So they're connected to Fetsco's live database feed. Correct. Uh, and it's dynamically exactly. pricing that merchant, your clients, products and services. So let's take the example again of this hotel uh, and somebody trying to do a booking, a booking online, right? So uh, this person will go to the to the uh, barcelo.com and uh, when they get into the website, there will be a drop-down menu that already says, in which currency do you see the price? Do you want to see the prices? If the customer coming from the US, they will select, for example, US dollar. From that first moment, all the shopping experience is going to be done in US dollar. The price of the accommodation, breakfast, uh, meals, whatever, is going to be in US dollar. The final payment is going to be in US dollar. But still, Barcelona will receive Euro. So the hotel will receive their base currency. Or they want it in some other currency see whatever exactly or the hotel in Barcelona like gets it in euro and the one in Madrid sends it in in pounds to the owner no, in UK of that property no or whatever whatsoever. okay they will receive it well this is really helpful Varo you were telling me that uh, Fesco has done some recent research and studies. What what interesting findings? Well, for me, what is very important is, is that Fesco decided uh, last year to take part on the on the creation of what is called the DCC Forum. So basically, this forum is is uh, created by five very large DCC providers all over the world, and what they want to do is they want to inform the final customers about these things that we are talking now. If you go abroad to spend money with your credit card or your debit card, you're gonna be charged. Uh, by your car, by your bank, or your issuer, 
uh, a, a fee and, uh, and there will be an exchange rate. So they need to be aware of this and, and they will, they, we will obviously inform them about the benefits that dynamic currency conversion has behind. On top of that, obviously, this group has decided to run some, some analysis in different markets. We focus very much on the UK market because um, it's expected that next year they will spend 7 million euro abroad with trade cards and debit cards, so you can imagine that the number is very, very large. And what we have seen in these studies are, for example, well, uh, that uh, the knowledge about the, the foreign exchange and things like that is, is very limited. Give me some examples of what... For example, we have around 25% uh, of the people do not know, uh, no, even more than 50% of the people do not know uh, how much is the, the, the fee that their bank or the credit card will charge them for spending money with their credit card abroad. So that's already very interesting. While the BCC will give you all the information in one go, you will have all the fees and the final amount that you are going to pay, right? Uh, there is also a very interesting fact that around 23% of the people of the UK is not able to convert one pound to one euro and obviously they spend a lot of time in Europe so they, they are not able to, to say how much it is in the if you do that for the US dollar it's even higher over 30% of the people are not able to say how much is one pound to one dollar or two dollars. Oh, well, I would so, say 99 percent. <laughs> it's, it's complex, you know. And and yeah, and there is a, a very large uh, number of people, around 25 percent, that don't even know there are charges on their credit card for using them abroad. So all these type of things uh, those, give us enough studies. information mm -hmm. to, to provide the, the the right feedback to everybody and make them aware that this is ongoing. So dynamic currency conversion is a very nice to have uh, to solve these problems. Of our ODS uh, Fetsco Merchant Services. Thank you very much.